There is no argument that the latest Netflix blockbuster hit series, Squid Game, has really helped the already huge streaming platform earn millions of dollars more. Squid Game, Netflix's critically acclaimed South Korean drama of 2021, has just recently officially become the streaming platform's most watched show after hitting 111 million views less than a month after its premiere, which is mind-blowing, especially for a South Korean show. It may not come as a surprise nowadays that people all over the globe are becoming more and more accepting and even obsessed at some point of shows and entertainment from Asian countries such as Japan and South Korea. The emergence of K-pop, a multi-billion dollar industry that runs the Asian representation in the music field today, has already proven that Asian entertainment is starting to spread like wildfire and the latest Netflix hit has showcased just how much it can dominate the entertainment industry in the near future. Given this huge success, Netflix has vowed to spend hundreds of millions of dollars on more series from the country to be produced by the online streaming service. Now, reiterating all that, it must be obvious that the latest global hit has earned loads of moolah, so fans are asking, just how much did the Squid Game series make? And how much did the actors make from it? We might have known them as struggling characters submerged in each other's own debts, but in reality, the cast players actually did make tons of money from the game. Well, not the same game of Squid Game, but the series itself. And I'm telling you, it's not just 45.6 billion won, it's a lot more than that. So if you guys are wondering, stay until the end of the video to find out just how much the cast made in filming the series and what are their individual net worths. So who might be the real richest cast member among the Squid Game players? Let's find out. But before anything else, make sure to hit that subscribe button first and smash that notification bell for more updates. Now let the games begin. It's undoubtedly the biggest show right now. We can't go a day without reading or hearing about it. And the show's success has turned its stars into overnight sensations. The show became the first Korean drama to top Netflix's top 10 weekly most watched TV show charts globally and even reached number one in 90 countries, including the United States and the United Kingdom. Even though Netflix did not promote the show heavily in these countries, and that alone says a lot, thanks to its elaborate sets, not to mention the large number of extras, the nine episode series reportedly cost a staggering 20 billion won, or about 17 million dollars to produce, with a cost of about 2.5 billion won per episode. Squid Game is also one of the most expensive Korean dramas of all time, but it proved itself worth every dime for the success it gave in return. This jaw-dropping amount of expenses went to the set, the cast, and all other preparations, but mostly the cast. The cast members, who weren't that famous before, are now international celebrities. This happened thanks to the roles they played in Squid Game. Their social media accounts are adding up to 1 million followers with each day that passes. Many of you are wondering how much wealth the Squid Game stars have accumulated during their careers. Here's how much each main cast member has been paid and how much net worth they had before joining the series. Lee Jong Jae. Lee Jong Jae, who stars as Song Gi Han, aka Player 456, has seen his fortune rise along with his popularity. The actor, who was already a household name in South Korea before starring in Squid Game, is speculated to have earned 300 million won, or about $344,000 per episode, which works out to be around a whopping $3.1 million for the whole drama, making him the second highest paid Korean actor. Surpassing what Song Joong Ki received for each episode of Vincenzo, Jung Jae has appeared in countless Korean films and TV shows. While he was famous in Korea before the massive success of Squid Game, he has now become a household name, gained millions of social media followers, and is even taking over the internet as the biggest meme of 2021. Lee was later cast in the K-drama Sandglass, before earning himself his breakout role in An Affair which instantly led his fan base to skyrocket. Luckily for Zhong Jae, he couldn't be farther removed from his character, considering the actor is worth $5 million. In addition to starring in more than 30 movies and TV shows, Lee owns several businesses, restaurants, and an entertainment label. Pak Hae Soo, playing Gi Han's childhood friend, Cho Song Woo, aka Player 218, is Pak Hae Soo, who shot to fame after starring in the 2017 drama Prison Playbook. Though Song Woo is one of the more prominent characters in Squid Game, Hei Su is believed to have made only a fraction of what Zhang Jie was paid, around $49,000 per episode. Pak Hei Su has been acting for 14 years and has participated in 5 big screen movies and 11 TV films and series. He is set to star in upcoming big screen movies Yacha and Ghost and in the Netflix shows Suriname and Money Heist. Additionally, Pak starred in 16 musical theater shows. According to sources, Pak Hei Su has an estimated wealth of 3 to 4 million dollars. Zhang Hoyong Believe it or not, her role in Squid Game 
is Jones, aka Seb Yalk, acting debut. With nearly a decade of modeling under her belt, she decided to step out of her comfort zone and become an actor, which has obviously stirred gloriously well in her favor. So how much did Ho Young get paid? According to a site, she reportedly only made a few hundred thousand Taiwanese dollars per episode. 200,000 Taiwan dollars is equivalent to $7,152, meaning she made approximately $64,368 for the entire nine episodes, which isn't bad for a starting actress like her. Sure, it may not seem like a lot compared to her two co-stars, but Ho Young has seen her popularity skyrocket thanks to the show. Besides, all the cast members are sure to start expanding their fortunes since the series, as they are quickly becoming international superstars, guest starring on international shows here and there. Moreover, Jung has also been recently tapped by high-profiled fashion brand Louis Vuitton to become their newest global ambassador. Jung's Instagram account has grown enormously since the show launched. It grew from 410k followers on September 17th to over 20 million. Talk about mind-blowing! This makes Jung's Instagram account the fastest growing account in the world since September 17th, surpassing the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, and Kylie Jenner in terms of followers growth. She is now the most followed Korean actress on Instagram. Jung has sponsored posts on her social media channels, which generates a whopping income for her, advertising for huge brands like Sephora, Paco Rabanne, Louis Vuitton, and Marc Jacobs. This obviously opens a lot of doors for her, all thanks to Squid Game. Lee Byung Hun while we may not have seen his face too many times throughout the series, the front man, also known as Hwang Hin Ho, was played by none other than South Korean icon Lee Byung Hun. Fans got to know him mostly from his black mask and voice throughout. However, his identity was revealed only moments before Hwang shot his own brother. Lee Byung Hun is no stranger to the big screen, considering he's appeared in many films and television shows before, including Joint Security Area, A Bittersweet Life, Masquerade, The Magnificent Seven, and Squid Game. The actor is recognized throughout South Korea, making it no surprise that he's managed to amass a net worth of $20 million, making him the richest Squid Game cast member. Anupam Tripathi Anupam, who plays Ali Abdul, or Player 199, was reported to have earned a few thousand Taiwan dollars to 10,000 Taiwan dollars per episode. Indian actor Anupam Tripathi started his career as an actor and singer in his home country in 2006. In 2010, Anupam left India for South Korea to pursue his studies, and he stayed there. Since 2014, Anupam has had minor roles in South Korean shows. Squid Game is the first show that features Tripathi as a main cast member, so this obviously opens a hallway of opportunities for him, especially since his character Ali has been the talk of the town. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, make sure to watch our other videos on Squid Game. And don't forget to leave a comment, hit those like and subscribe buttons, and smash that notification bell for more videos like this. Stay tuned!